My name is Shauna Murray and I'm an Associate Professor and Researcher here at C3, the Plant Functional Biology and Climate Change Cluster at UTS Science. I research marine biotoxins which are naturally produced toxins in the marine food web. But marine microalgae are such an important part of our ecosystem that it feels that it, it's very little understood and appreciated what um, they do in terms of their photosynthetic contribution to our climate. There are many factors that are increasing the abundance of harmful algal blooms in, worldwide and in Australia in particular and one of these is rising ocean temperatures and the East Australian current region which is the major current that flows down from the Great Barrier Reef along the New South Wales coast and to Tasmania has increased in temperature for roughly 0.9 degrees over the last century and it also can increase the window available for the optimum growth growth of these types of organisms. So we get an increase in the frequency and severity of blooms. The team that I have here at UTS is wonderful. I have three PhD students and two postdoctoral fellows and UTS has been very supportive of um, the development of our research as a group. The lab facilities at UTS are world class. They're, we have some brand new laboratories. They have all of the sophisticated equipment that you need for this type of research. Most of the toxins I work with are neurotoxins, which means they affect your nerve functioning. So one of the areas I research is ciguatera fish poisoning, which is a type of poisoning caused by a marine microalgae. And in Australia, we've seen the most southward cases of ciguatera fish poisoning occurring this year and last year. We had some funding from the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade as part of Australia's aid to its neighbouring Pacific nations. So we went to the Cook Islands and we worked together with the locals to try and help them understand the prevalence of ciguatera fish poisoning uh, in Rarotonga, which is the main island of the Cook Islands. And we looked at um, the fish species that were, they were catching along the reef and also at the uh, marine microalgae that produce the toxin and carry the toxin, their prevalence and abundance. The industry partners have been really important to the, the research. The New South Wales Food Authority in particular, because this is something of great concern to them. They regulate for these types of toxins and their responsibility is to have safe seafood. And uh, I also work with a, a molecular diagnostics company, Diagnostic Technology, and their role in the project has been to commercialise the outcomes of the research into a, a usable tool that we can sell to farmers. I'm Mark Dan Aston, I'm a Manager Director of Diagnostic Technology. The work that Sean is doing at uh, UTSC3 is uh, critical to a process development that we're undertaking in um, expertise in biotoxin production. This extension now into the marine environment has a critical commercial application. A commercial aspect of this research is a shellfish test kit that we have been developing for uh, seven years now, which was based on research into the genetics of uh, toxicity in one particular marine microalgal species. The technology that uh, we've commercialised or commercialising the discovery process of biotoxin production has been commercialised into an assay that uh, is quite familiar for general laboratory use, but uh, you know, our next challenge is to introduce it to uh, an in-field testing environment where testing can be performed by shellfish farmers or co-ops uh, within an hour or two and give them online management capabilities. One of the very positive outcomes that uh, are both for a level of self-satisfaction and for the company is that uh, it allows for food producers, in this particular case shellfish farmers, to ensure that their food or their products uh, are not uh, contaminated with toxins which have uh, some very se severe and significant health implications to the general public. <laughs>